What's up guys, Viperpa V here, and today, today I have two cameras we're going to be comparing. We have the Foxier Predator V5, and then we have the Runcam Eagle 3. Yes, we have the Eagle 3 is actually back. Um, they actually said that they were discontinuing it, but now it actually came back out. So it's actually been out for a couple months now, um, but I finally got my hands on it to do a comparison video and kind of get a gist of what the picture quality is. Um, I have done these videos in the past with prior cameras, uh, like the Predator, um, the, I believe the Foxier Cat 2. Um, so I have a few of those comparison videos too, if you want to check out the playlist down below. Um, but without further ado, let's go ahead and uh, take a look at both cameras and see how they do in both daylight uh, with no clouds and then also a day with like a real cloudy day. And then also I give you guys a comparison at night uh, to see how both cameras do perform. Uh, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get over to the comparison. All right, so we have the Runcam Eagle 3 Micro on the left and the Foxier Predator V5 Micro on the right. It's a nice, clear, sunny day. Uh, and you can see how both cameras really portray their image. The Predator V5 is a little oversaturated. A lot of people don't like it. Um, then we have the Eagle 3 with a little bit too high of a contrast. It really shows that shimmery effect. Um, just re reminder, these are both on the default settings. So the Foxier on the right does have its OSD showing. The Eagle 3 also does have an OSD, but it's um, not enabled from default, which I kind of do like uh, not having to worry about shutting that off every time you set up a camera or buy a new camera. Um, so we're going to go over here by the trees and kind of zoom in and really kind of show you guys the image clarity of each one and you can see here their shimmery effect really does show effect in the left on the Eagle 3 on the right we do have this really kind of a blue tone to the video um, to the to the camera um, it used to be a lot worse in like the V2 and the V1 uh, but they did help it did help a lot uh, with the improvements they made over the over the time with it um, so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys um, what the camera does in the daylight, like transitioning from uh, dark to light. And it's really kind of hard to see which one's the winner. Uh, they do both uh, handle going from the dark to light pretty well. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, turn over to the uh, cloudy day and uh, see exactly how. They so we have a nice overcast day. And uh, you can see both cameras here, taking a look at the trees, the pine trees in the back, and also um, the grass and the leaves and all that. You really can kind of still see that shimmery effect there, there on the Eagle 3. Um, and the Predator V5 does have a, I think it's, maybe it's loss of saturation, or whatever that would be. Uh, this kind of looks very um, pale to me. But it does have some saturation, though, on the grass, you can tell as well. Uh, and you can kind of too tell from the lenses how it kind of, uh, on the Eagle 3, and a little bit on the Predator 2, how it kind of bends the lines in the gravel, or actually in the driveway. Um, that's just like that GoPro effect, or that fisheye. And here we have both close up, and uh, really the grass is just a little more oversaturated on the V5 than the Eagle 3. All right, so let's go ahead and go over to a dark day. And uh, all right, so here's both cameras at night. Uh, this There is a little bit of sunlight peeking through the horizon if I peek over there. Uh, but both cameras handle it pretty well. The Eagle 3 is a little bit better at low light, I would say, than the Predator V5. Uh, as you can see, the light from the, the spotlight there is really kind of just blowing everything out in proportion. Um, and you can kind of see here on the Eagle 3, it's kind of sunlit in the shadows. And it's probably more realistic of the night with the Predator V5, how it looked. But it was a little darker. So this can give you any comparison. I've zoomed in on both images to see each one. And uh, I definitely think the Eagle 3 does shine with low light over the Predator V5. So if you are thinking about racing this thing low light, or maybe in somewhere dark, uh, that might be something to consider. 
but this was Viper FPV. I'll leave links to both cameras down in the video description if you want to check both these out. Uh, let me know down in the comment section down below as well because I do have the Foxier T-Rex camera in for review. And I'm thinking to put it with the um, Falcor. Uh, but let me know down in the comment section down below what you think. Uh, peace.